build it and they'll come. This is the lie that we all believe when we build our first product. But then we find out that building is the easy part and getting users and marketing your app is 10 times harder. But what if I told you you could skip all that and go straight to making money? Well, that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Apps you can build that require no marketing budget, a lot less validation, and may just have thousands of customers waiting to pull out their wallets and pay you for the thing you built. The secret here is building on top of large platforms. And today I'm gonna be showing you three real world ideas that make over $20,000 a month, as well as the platform they were built on top of and how you could potentially do the same. What I'm gonna show you today are not made up ideas. These are real businesses researched and verified by the Starter Story team, and they were started by people just like me and you. But before we dive in, after you watch this, if you're ready to build your own app, go and check out Starter Story Build. It's our program that will help you come up with an idea and build it in just 12 days using only AI coding tools. So I have the $100,000 plugins database right here. Today, we're gonna to be going over just three of these. Let's dive into the first one here. This is Data Fetcher. Uh, I know this business, we just interviewed them. Super cool business, but let's dive into it. So they're doing $23,000 a month and cost $100 to start this business. So I built an Airtable plugin that lets users manage their data better. It makes $270,000 a year and boom, I like this already. One founder, zero employees. We actually just interviewed Andy on the main channel which I will show you this video right here with Andy is awesome. I got to meet him and hear about his business that he started. Super cool guy, solopreneur, built in awesome business. So definitely go check out that video. I'll try to put a link in the description for you to find that. But yeah, let's try to understand what this business does. It is a plugin built into Airtable. We'll get to that in a second, but let's just go click on their website and just get an understanding of what this app actually does. So connect any API to Airtable without code. Okay, if you're a developer, I imagine that a lot of people watching this know what an API is, but basically if you use Airtable, which is like a Google Sheets on steroids product, you need to connect it to other platforms. So you may need to connect it to OpenAI. You may need to connect it to Notion because you have different things in different places. Sometimes the plugins don't really work that well or you need to do something more custom this allows you to connect directly to an API inside Airtable. I think that's pretty straightforward and is really not all that important to understand how that works. Essentially, it's an Airtable plugin that lets you do something custom. I think what's more important to dive into is the platform that it's built on. And that's what this video is about, is to talk about businesses built on platforms. And this platform specifically is Airtable. I already talked about what Airtable does, so let's get some stats on Airtable. Okay, I just went to chat GBT and just asked it for some stats on Airtable. And this is pretty crazy. As of 2025, Airtable serves over 450,000 companies worldwide and 166,000 paying companies, 300,000 active customers. This is a huge platform and it's used by Fortune 100 companies, which means companies that have money to spend on tools like Data Fetcher. So that's the first piece of building a business that doesn't require you to go and get customers because you build this and there's already 450,000 potential people that will use your app because they're already using Airtable. That doesn't mean that you can easily get in front of these 450,000, but at least you know that you're building something on a platform that is really popular and being used. The second part of that is the actual app store itself. So I'm here on the Airtable marketplace right here. This is how these companies find you. They need to do something inside of Airtable. They go to the apps or the plugins marketplace and you come up here without technically having to spend any money to do this. So if I just go and search on the app marketplace right here for Airtable, I'll search API and boom, one of the top ones that come up is Data Fetcher right here. And as you can see, uh, it helps you connect to OpenAI and other platforms. This is it right here. So thousands of companies are going on here and searching for how to connect to an API. This comes up, he gets a paying customer, and that is how this is a great business that requires zero marketing spend. Now, one key thing that I wanna point out here, and I just wanna stop you if you're going, I'm just gonna go build something on Airtable right now. This is why I think it's important to subscribe to Starter Story and read these case studies because you can understand a little bit more about why this business was successful, not just, I'm gonna go and copy this. And that's this part right here. 
The timing of my idea for Data Fetcher was fortunate as Airtable had just opened up their app marketplace to third party developers, right? So this is years ago. If you go and build an app on Airtable right now, the marketplace is probably going to be more crowded. There's going to be more competition. It's going to be harder to get in front of people. That's the key right here. If you're going to go do something like this, go find the platform that just opened up or recently opened up to third party app developers and is a growing platform and it's a really big platform. I went over to ChatGPT right here and typed in a bunch of stuff to try to get this information and I found some pretty good stuff. Go High Level is one that I've been hearing about a lot. Their app marketplace went live around 2023, according to this. Another interesting one is Monday.com. Their app marketplace went live in 2020. Look, it doesn't have to go live last year. Another interesting one here is the Framer marketplace. I guess they opened up in 2024 and Framer is a huge, massive, growing platform. Okay, that is the first one that I want to share with you, Data Fetcher. It's super cool. Go watch that YouTube video with the founder on how he built the whole thing. Let's go into the next one. Okay, let's dive into our next example here. This is Super Lemon. Makes $29,000 a month, built in 30 days with $0 to start. So we developed a $29,000 per month WhatsApp plugin for Shopify. So it's WhatsApp and Shopify. I'm not really sure. Let's, let's go check this out and understand a little bit more. I'm going to click right on their link and see... Uh, what is the business that they started? This is uh, increase engagement, improve conversions for your store via WhatsApp. Oh, interesting. So it's a WhatsApp plugin for Shopify stores. That is actually really interesting. It's not just one platform, it's two platforms. And those are really, really big platforms. Let's dive into some of those numbers on that platform. So Shopify, by the numbers in 2025, 4.82 million active Shopify stores worldwide. And another source suggests it's even more. That's way bigger than the last example that we looked at, Airtable. That is a huge platform. There are millions, literally millions of businesses that are looking for potential tools that you can build on their platform. That is really, really huge. And that is, again, going back to the point of this video, which is if you have 5 million people that might potentially need what your app serves, you probably don't have to work on as much marketing for them. Let's take a look at WhatsApp by the numbers. WhatsApp in 2025, oh my God, that is insane. 2.95 billion monthly active users as of mid 2025. So that's the crossover there is that Shopify and WhatsApp, there are so many potential people that use both of these apps that they're probably going to need to be integrated in some way. Okay, let's go take a look at their app store and see how many reviews this has, see how it's doing. Oh, that's crazy. So the Shopify app is not currently available on the Shopify app store. If you have support questions, contact Superlemon app directly. Oh, interesting. So this business got either removed from the Shopify app store. Yeah, marketing plus support on WhatsApp. So it's there, but it was removed. So I did a little research on this and oh wow, this is awesome. So we interviewed them on Starter Story and they built their business to 25,000 and 29,000 uh, in monthly recurring revenue and then they sold it. And I guess the people that they sold it to, it got worse over time. The ratings and perception changed over time. And then some sort of change happened where Shopify removed them from the store. So let that be a lesson that you need to follow all the rules of Shopify. Otherwise, they can kick you off of their store. And that is something that I also want to mention, too, is that is sort of the downsides of building on big platforms. If there are some downsides, it's these platforms can remove you overnight and your business can be gone. And also these platforms can build your feature into their platform and then your app is sort of useless. Those are the big risks when it comes and that's called platform risk. But I do want to share that and that is sort of what happened here. What I think is actually even cooler about this is the guys that started this, they sold it. They probably made a bunch of money if they had a $25,000 or more recurring revenue business. They probably sold it for a bunch of money and then they went and started another app and it's pretty similar. It's called the light chat. And this is their actual app store listing right here. So what I think is cool about that is they built this, they kind of learned about the WhatsApp Shopify world. They got, they understood the customer, they sold their business and they went and built another business in a similar domain. That is really smart because now they have another business that's cash flowing. And I was able to look up this article and see if this business is doing well too. I mean, it does have a lot of reviews, uh, but it says they're making $30,000 MRR with Delight Chat, which is sort of in the similar uh, range of what they're making before. So let's dive into one reason why I think this business was successful and it is important when building on platforms 
And that comes down to reviews. And I was looking at the case study on Starter Story. I like to read all these case studies and see why was this business successful when there are lots and lots of other plugins uh, that aren't successful. And the one that I think is the most interesting that I wanted to share is the reviews and five star average rating. And everyone knows that you need to get reviews for your app and have testimonials for your app. But actually when you're building on marketplaces, I think it might be the number one thing. And I've talked to a lot of founders about this that are building on platforms. They all say the same thing. If I go to the Shopify app store right here and I look at their ratings, it has 169 ratings. Almost all of them are five stars. And this is not only important because when customers want to download it, they want to make sure it's going to work and not steal their data. But Shopify has an algorithm on their app store that's going to surface the apps with the best reviews. Reviews are the best metric Shopify probably has for knowing if this is a good app or the best app to let customers know about what they should use. So if I go here and search WhatsApp, let's see what happens. There are a bunch of apps that come up, which is awesome. It shows that you can probably be successful. There are a ton of apps in here that have changed developers and people's lives that they built. And Delight Chat doesn't even have to be the first one that comes up. As you can see, it does show up on the first page right here, but it's not the first result for WhatsApp marketing. And I think that's super cool. It shows that there can be competition and you can still be successful. So the platforms here are Shopify and WhatsApp. I think they're both great platforms to be building on. These sorts of apps are actually somewhat simple to build. I think that you can build these things with AI and shameless plug. I do wanna mention Starter Story Build. This is our platform where you can learn how to build real products with AI tools. We have a bunch of boot camps in here, but I'll jump into our AI app boot camp right here, which is super cool. In 12 days, you will come up with an idea, you'll build it with only AI tools, and you'll launch it into the real world. I think this is super cool. We have a bunch of stuff in there like office hours, building with other builders, and our whole community that's focused on building cool stuff and shipping. So definitely check that out, but let's get back into it. Okay, let's jump into our final one right here. This we have Groundhog with two Gs, and this is making $25,000 a month. This 21 year old built a 300K ARR CRM business in two years. Let's try to understand what this does. I mean, I know what WordPress is, but I don't really even know what this app does. The one thing I like to look at on Starter Story is, you know, what problem does Groundhog solve? Groundhog alleviates the financial burden and data dependency that businesses face with SaaS CRMs and marketing automation tools. And I see the word affordable, self-hosted WordPress plugin data. Okay, so this seems like it's something to do with pricing, but let's go check out their website and understand more about what it does. So this is the CRM for WordPress users that doesn't suck. I like that, that branding there. First of all, this website looks really cool. It looks more friendly than this typical kind of whiz bang thing that you see in a lot of websites these days. Definitely go check out this website, groundhog.io to see it's kind of like cartoonish. There's probably a reason for that, but I think that's sort of cool. It gets, gives me this friendly vibe. Before we get into understanding why this business was successful, let's go to the platform again, because this whole video is about platforms. This platform here is WordPress. So let's check out some of the numbers behind WordPress in 2025. WordPress powers 43 to 44% of all websites globally, the most widely used platform on the web. So this is actually even bigger than Shopify. I know WordPress has been around forever, so it's not necessarily the most newest platform in the world, but over half a billion WordPress websites. What? That's insane. Shopify was like 5 million. Half a billion would be 500 million websites are powered by WordPress. So 472 million according to this uh, ChatGPT search. That's mind blowing. Okay, I wanna understand why does this business win? Uh, this is a CRM, which there are lots of CRMs out there. CRM is like a dime a dozen product. There's so many out there, why does this win? And the first thing they have on their landing page, the very, very first thing I see is this pricing play. You look at Groundhog, Groundhog is $50 a month, no matter how many contacts you have, where MailerLit, Kit, all these other platforms, HubSpot, increases in price as you become more successful. People don't wanna freaking pay for this stuff anymore, right? They, they note it here as the success tax, meaning you get more successful, you have to pay more money. Screw that. I just need a simple CRM that will allow me to email my customers and integrate with my website. And I don't have to pay thousands of dollars per month. That actually sounds like something that I would wanna try. My website isn't built on WordPress, but this is a super cool idea. 
And that seems to be their sort of angle for why this business is successful. Let's see how this business grew. And the first thing I want to understand, is there like a WordPress app store? And what I realized is that there's not. The WordPress does have a plugin directory, but they don't really have like ASO, which we were talking about earlier, which is app store optimization, mean, meaning you do this or you do that and uh, you can get your app to grow in the plugin directory. I was reading in the Starter Story case study, something I think everyone should subscribe to and read why businesses were successful. How did he actually grow Groundhog? Podcasts, going on podcasts that are WordPress related. It actually makes a lot of sense. So he maybe goes on a podcast that a lot of WordPress developers listen to. They have a bunch of clients that have WordPress sites and they may recommend the CRM because it's cheaper and, and it grew there. The other interesting thing here I see is industry Facebook groups. That's another really cool way to grow plugins. Forums, Facebook groups, WhatsApp groups, Twitter, Reddit. These are all places that where sort of niche communities hang out. Maybe it's for WordPress or maybe it's something even spe more specific inside WordPress. Those are good places to go and kind of grind it out and get your first few customers. Okay, that is the third idea right there, Groundhog. You can check out the 100K Plugins Ideas database, which I'll put a link to in the description. There's a bunch more ideas in here and a bunch more platforms. I'm thinking of just stuff right now like Microsoft Excel. That's a huge platform, OpenAI, big growing platform. There's a bunch of more stuff that you might find in here that might be interesting. You can access that with the link in the description. Lastly, if you're ready to build your own thing, definitely check out Starter Story Build. These AI tools are getting amazing. You can build real businesses quickly, test them, validate them, get them in front of customers. That's what the Starter Story Build boot camps are all about. I definitely check that out. I'll put a link in the description for that. In just a few days, imagine you can find an idea, build it, ship it to the real world, get validation. It works amazing. If it doesn't work, do it again and keep doing it until you find something that hits, something that might be successful, just like all the ideas in here that were started by regular people, just like me and you. Starter Story is all about showing you those real businesses. Let me know what you think about the businesses in this video. What type of businesses you want me to cover next? Put those in the comments. I'll read them all. All right, peace.